This is a Lego set review for Lego Creator Expert Set 10262 James Bond Aston Martin DB5. This is the only 007 and the only Aston Martin set so far from Lego. So I will start this review from the box. The box is rather normal, somewhat large, but for the piece count, understandable or acceptable. There is the shadow of the barreled gun port. And then on the back, we have some of the features of the set, which we'll actually see in the set itself. Also, before we get to the set itself, I want to look at the instructions, which actually might be my favorite part of this set. The instructions, as you can see, have this wonderful classified material folder look, including a printed paper clip and a military intelligence stamp. Q branch for your eyes only. Inside the book, we have what looks like a confidential document with some blackout, some words blacked out, also a French side. We have some information on the vehicles and some pictures including Sean Connery, Pierce Brosnan, as well as more recently um, Daniel Craig. We have some drawings of the vehicle along with some specifications on the next page. Some specifications of the real vehicle. So the instruction booklet is very cool. It does have this classified feel, although once you get inside, it's quite a standard instruction booklet. There are here and there some information, I believe. So the instruction booklet has about 168 pages and 260 so steps, 263 steps. So it's a very unique instruction booklet as well. Um, and then also before we look at the set, this is the sticker sheet. There are 12 stickers. As you can see, eight of them. The entire left-hand side is for the license plates. And some of the other stickers are for rounding near the back of the near the back window, along with the Aston Martin symbol. Then we have the extra pieces. So we have a piece puller in a set this large, along with let me show we have twenty something extra pieces or so. So you can see the extra pieces here and in here. Maybe the most interesting thing is that we do get a gun for James Bond, although this is a six-shooter revolver type and not a Walter PPK that he normally uses. And that is actually for the engine. So now let's look at the set. So overall, it does look like the Aston Martin. It does have that grill. So these are printed one by two tiles. It does have the headlights, although I do have a small problem that the headlights don't really look like the Aston Martin headlights, in my opinion. The vehicle is a little bit, let's say, restricted on the side. The door handles stick out. Also, this part sticks out on the side. This looks really nice. It does stick out just a little bit. It's, uh, it requires some work on the inside to get it like that, but it does look very nice. Um, the back also does look like an Aston Martin. If you look carefully, 
this piece is reversed. The other two pieces are sticking out, connected to some studs as I break another piece. So overall, it does, I mean, it does look like this iconic car, but it is a bit blocky. And there are some studs now. It's mostly studless on top. Um, but when we come to vehicles like the Mustang, it's much more studless and looks more like the actual car. Now, you could also say that's because the Aston Martin has more curves, um, but the Mustang also has some curves. So before we look at the features, we can look here at the engine. In the engine, we can see the three carburetors here, along with the six-cylinder engine here. It looks like a dual overhead cam. And you might just be able to make out the guns here for the exhaust. And the trunk opens as well. So nothing exciting in the trunk except that yellow piece, which is for the bulletproof window feature here gets a little stuck for me. The door is open, so the passenger door has nothing special on it, but the driver door has a hidden telephone, a hidden telephone, which is just a red telephone. Also on the inside, well, we'll look at that later. So for some of the features, if you pull back here, it will lift the lid up, and then if you release, it shoots the passenger seat out. This feature actually works quite well, and the, the seat will reattach just using the red rod here. See? Um, also on the inside we have this red lever, which we can move back and forth, and what that does is that switches between headlights and machine guns. So here are the machine guns in the front, and then the headlights. So this feature also works pretty well, but it, it got stuck sitting on my shelf for a few weeks, and actually then functioned very poorly, and I had to take this apart quite a bit. Also we have the license plates, which just rotate, so these are not connected, so they are independent, both in the front and the back. Um, but they do rotate. And then finally, let's see if I can show this well. We can rotate this Technic pin to reveal the radar screen. So either the heater vents or the radar screen. Now, this vehicle does have a lot of functions, but one thing it does not have, let me say, it has a lot of functions and it also has a lot of beauty in that it does look quite a bit like the original, but there are some things it's missing, such as um, turning wheels. So they can rotate, but the front wheels cannot turn at all partially because of this machine gun feature, partially because of the uh, the way the headlights are built, and partially because of the engine. So I don't know if anyone has modified it so that the wheels can turn, because I think they would look much nicer if they could turn. There is a gap in the door. I won't say it's large, but it's also not so small either. Um, so it has some minor imperfections in the look and the function, but it is the James Bond car and it does look the part. It also has all the main features. Like I had forgotten there was even the bulletproof shield until I built the car and then remembered that it was used in one scene in the movie. So, If you open the trunk too much, it also gets in the way. Anyway, this is the vehicle. Let me know in the comments what you think. 
Oh, also, the via this is priced at about 150 US dollars. So, not so cheap. All right. Thank you for watching.